left or right, I don't necessarily get nice values for x. So one thing I can do is I can just plug in the x's I want. So like at x equals 1, I get that. Do you recognize that decimal? Have you seen that enough times to know what that is? 0.3 repeating is what? One third. Why is it one third? When I take one third and I raise it to the first power, what do I get? I get one third, right? If I go to x equals 2, now this one you might not be as familiar with. Anyone know what that is? 0.1 repeating? 0.1111111111. As a fraction? It comes out to be one ninth. Your ninths, this is not the time or place to have this conversation, but your ninths are actually kind of interesting. One ninth is 0.1 repeating, two ninths is 0.2 repeating, three ninths is one third, which is 0.3 repeating, four ninths is 0.4 repeating, five ninths is 0.5 repeating, right? You catch a pattern there? So what's eight ninths? Eight. 0.8 repeating? 0.8888888. So what's nine ninths? That's a great question. Is it one? Or is it point 0.9 repeating? Point. Can it be both? <laughs> all right, all right, that's all I can say. Okay. <laughs> the answer is yes, by the way. Um, <coughs> anyway, if I go out to x equals 3, I'll give you like a bonus point to tell me what that is. Shit, I was lying. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what's happening? I'm going from one ninth, sorry, one third to one ninth to one twenty seventh. What's happening every time I go up by one? Yeah, we're going. Uh, what would four be? Without a calculator. Close. One over eighty-one. Five. Which is different than eighty-one. There's a difference between having eighty-one dollars and one eighty-one of a dollar. Yeah. Okay. And so on. Why? Same reason as as for the two to the x, right? Every time my x one goes up by one, I'm adding on one more factor of one third. When I multiply by one third, doesn't that make it a smaller number though? A third of this, then a third of this, and a third of this. So why is this a decreasing function? <coughs> because as my exponent gets larger, I'm multiplying by one third over and over again. I'm getting smaller and smaller numbers instead of just the opposite happening when I was doing two to that power. Make sense? A little bit? Like 15% sense? That's all I need. 15%? Okay. All right. And then go backwards. What's negative one? When x equals negative one, I get... Is anyone bold enough to tell me why I got three? Do you know what happens when you raise things to the negative one power? I kind of think we talked about it last class. Remember that button? What does this button give you? The reciprocal, right? When I raise things to the negative one power, I get its reciprocal, I get its multiplicative inverse, right? Three. That's going to be another important point. Raising things to the zeroth power gives you one. Raising things to the first power gives you that base. Raising things to the negative one power, we're going to say, gives us the reciprocal of that base. Okay? What if I had not one third to the x power, but two thirds to the x power? It's still a decreasing function, but you notice it's, it's not as sharp. And if I go to x, oh, no, graph, trace, zero, <coughs> it still goes through zero, one, right? <coughs> if I go to x equals one, 0.6 repeating is two-thirds. Two-thirds to the first power is, surprise, two-thirds. And if I go to the negative one power, 1.5, if you turn that into a fraction, you get three over two. So that's, that's its reciprocal, two over three, three over two, et cetera. Okay?